The reason why James R. Ray killed Martin Luther King was because he watched Planet of the Apes and he feared that it was a black empowerment film. That was an assumption made by Chris Rock. Top 5. No, 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 this isn't a top 5 video or something. This is literally a movie named Top 5, starring Chris Rock, written by Chris Rock, and directed by Chris Rock. Or what is he, Tommy Wiseau now? So anyway, this movie is about a comedian who used to be big. He used to be famous in movies, and everybody was laughing with him until he became an alcoholic. Then he became sober, and nobody takes him seriously anymore because he's not funny. And then he comes to a point where he no longer knows what he wants to be in life and such and such. So basically, this is a black version of Birdman. He got a man who was once famous, and then he is so yesterday. But the difference is, this film has a more comedic flavor. This is a fun and funny movie is what I'm trying to say. In this movie, you got Chris Rock, who is the main star, and then you got Rosario Dawson, who is a journalist who wants to know much about him. And this film tells its story with his flashbacks and interviews, his story about his struggles, and all that. Which may be slightly, slightly, slightly confusing at times but you are still able to follow the story. Both actors did great in this film. Chris Rock once again will make you laugh. This movie is basically based on him, just like Michael Keaton. And in this movie, you see what society is doing to him. He wants to be the greatest, but because what is happening to him, he's pretty much scared and he doesn't know what to do with his life. And then towards the end of the film, he gets his itch in some way. And it is great how this film done it. Some of the supporting cast, J.B. Smooth. This guy is funny who has this weird obsession with large women. Leslie Jones is in this movie and she is also funny who is this loud and random person. Who else? Cedric the Entertainer. Well, this guy, he is mad funny. In the beginning of the movie, he just steals the show and you are just there laughing. There are also a lot of cameos in this film, including one person during a prison scene, and yeah, you will laugh. However, as much as this film is funny, there are some jokes in this movie where it doesn't hit. For example, 22 Jump Street. The jokes in that movie were like this. But in this movie, the jokes were like this. Whoops, gotta reload. Alright. Ah, this thing is jammed. Alright. So one point you're just watching the movie, then the next you would be laughing your ass off. Which I find okay, but... Hmm, yeah. But overall, this movie is really funny. Chris Rock is in it, and he is funny as hell. And so is the other characters. You will laugh to this film. So far, this film has been praised by many people. So, check it out. 8 laughs out of 10 for top 5. Oh, the reason why this film is called Top 5 is because it's about people naming their top 5 favorite comedians of all time. I don't really have one because the numbers always change. Do you? So that is my take of Top 5. Thank you for watching. More reviews on the way. Hey, Dre, you mind if I get some of them hangers, man? I need some wood and hang- Oh, damn it. They got the- they got the lock on them. <laughs> they got the lock on them. They hip to your boy.